All right, everybody. All right, this is Zane with Really Easy AI. Welcome to ChatGPT in five minutes or less. Let's get started. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you can, please. And let's jump into it. First thing you got to know is how to prompt with ChatGPT, how to ask it questions. Your three steps to success are going to be who, who do you need, why, why do you need it, and what, what do you want. So let me show you an example of that. Here's the who. You are an expert in project management. Here's the why. We are working on a project to build a house in Texas. Here's the what. Give me a project plan to get the land and other resources, then build the house. So let me show you that in ChatGPT. I don't happen to have my ChatGPT up for some reason. Let's pop it up. And there we go. So we pop that out. And away it goes. I won't let it complete for the sake of time, but you can see now it begins giving us a project plan. So you tell it who, you tell it what, and you tell it why. Now let's do it again. Who? I need an expert teacher in algebra. Why? I need to learn about polynomials for class. What? Teach me step by step about polynomials like you're teaching me in a classroom. Again, same thing. We do the three steps to success. We hop into ChatGPT. I'll start a new chat. And there it goes. Who? What? Why? Or it's rather who, why, what? Sorry about that. So there it goes, and it will start teaching you about polynomials. This thing is pretty amazing. I mean, it's seriously amazing. Now, as we're going through this, though, inevitably, one of the biggest use cases for ChatGPT is summarizing documents. So, for example, let ChatGPT do the reading for you. Be clear about what you want. Here I have a business plan that was written in, uh, for an Oklahoma business, and I'm going to ask it to summarize this plan. Give me a three-sentence summary, right? So here we go. We got the who. You're an expert in Oklahoma law and business plan. Um, and then I'm just jump right to the what. Uh, give me a three-sentence summary of the business plan with five bullet points on the uh, items on it. Then tell me if the business plan looks solid. I can jump right away to that because the context is given in the business plan itself. So let me show you that real quick. So here we go. We're going to start a, a new chat. And then I'm going, there's a couple ways you can upload files. You can click on the little paper clip here, or you can click and drag. I'm going to click and drag. There it is. I'm going to grab my prompt. And away we go. And so now it's going to read the business plan and then give me a summary of the business plan the way I asked it to. So again, I'll stop it there for the sake of time. But you get the idea. And it's very, very cool the way it works. All right, moving on. Now, once you got the results, you, you really want to know how to format them. And there's a few ways you can go about getting the results. One of them is just straight up copy and paste. You can just straight copy and paste the results. So, for example, uh, let's just use the business plan example here. Once you get the results, down here at the bottom, there's a copy button. If you click on it, you'll see a check box. And that means you've got it in your clipboard and you can just paste it wherever you want. Paste it into a Word doc or anything you want. That's one easy way to just grab the results and stick them wherever you want. There is another way, though. Uh, oftentimes, it'll add extra formatting you don't want. So maybe you just want it in plain text. What you can do is tell it to put the um, results into a text code block without markdown formatting. That's the special formatting it's using. And check this out. You, can, you don't have to rewrite the prompt. You can just go back to your original prompt, click on this little pencil, and then just add the extra part. Uh, put the results into a text code block um, without markdown formatting. And there it goes. And then I click on save and submit. Now it'll put it in a nice pretty little text code block right here. See this? And it's all plain text. It doesn't do any fancy formatting. When it's done, of course, I can click on copy code here and copy that and paste it wherever I want. Last uh, but certainly not least is putting it into a document. Yes, it can actually put the results into a document if that's what you want. So we're going to go ahead and come up here, click on the little pencil, and we're going to say put the results into a well-formatted, let's try this again, formatted Word document. Now this takes a little while, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording once I get it started so you can see it when it's done. Okay, it's all done. There's a little link here to download the business plan. You can download it, open it up, and you're ready to rock and roll. Give it a second to open up, and there it is. Right there, your Word doc. So very, very cool. 
That's it, boys and girls. Hopefully you enjoyed it. This is Zane. I'll see you next time.